Well, all eyes will be on the sky tomorrow morning for the annular solar eclipse. It's a subcategory of a partial eclipse where the moon blocks the sun, but because of its position, the moon appears smaller, so it creates a ring of fire effect. And Boise State's physics department will be having an event where you can get a special view of it. KTV meteorologist Sophia Bliss has a preview of that event. Take a look. So, Dr. Jackson, we have a really amazing astronomical event that's happening this weekend and you guys are going to have an event here on campus for this eclipse. That's right so Saturday morning about uh, nine o'clock in the morning mountain time uh, we'll have an annular solar eclipse uh, pass across the United States. Uh, it'll be about 90% obscuration here in Boise so not total but not total anywhere actually an annular eclipse is a, a kind of partial eclipse where there's a ring visible uh, around the edge of the moon. So not quite like the total eclipse we had back in 2017. So Saturday morning, we'll have the annular eclipse pass through Boise. Uh, we'll have an event on campus uh, around 8.30 is when that event starts. We'll do a short presentation and then we'll go out and try to observe the eclipse, uh, assuming we have good weather for it. We can see the eclipse probably from several spots across Southern Idaho. But even if you can see it from your backyard, you may not be able to do it safely without some key things, right? That's right. So anywhere you can see the sun on Saturday, you should be able to see at least a partial eclipse uh, from here in Boise. Um, you're right, though, that you don't want to look at the sun without protection. And so if you want to observe this annular eclipse on Saturday, you want to get a pair of eclipse shades. This is our Boise State branded eclipse shades. Nice. Um, if folks remember from the 2017 eclipse, these provide protection to the sun. These are not normal sunglasses, so you don't want to use sunglasses to observe the sun. Those don't provide enough protection. Eclipse shades are very, very dark and block out something like 99.99% of the light coming from the sun, making it safe to, say, uh, to observe the sun. So folks need to get eclipse shades. If they want, they can join up uh, with us on campus, Boise State, uh, on Saturday morning, and we'll give out eclipse shades uh, as part of our outreach program. We're doing a, a fundraising campaign uh, to support our astronomy outreach program, and folks can donate $5 to get a pair of eclipse shades, making it safe to observe the eclipse on Saturday. During the eclipse, we'll distribute eclipse shades, and we'll have solar scopes on campus, which allow you to see the sun up close. Uh, there are special kinds of telescopes you can use to look at the sun safely. A normal telescope is not safe to use to look at the sun. Um, and so we'll observe that eclipse, most of the eclipse, basically from about uh, 9 in the morning until about almost noon that day. Saturday will be the, the total eclipse duration. We'll be out on campus to observe that. Um, after the eclipse, we'll come down to the quad here and do uh, the fun things that we have planned for Bronco Day so folks can see the eclipse and then stick around and learn more about the campus. Awesome. Sounds like a fun day yeah. on campus. Cheap date. Yeah. Fun thing right. to do on campus. And you heard it there, they'll actually be handing out those glasses for $5. But if you want to buy your own glasses, just make sure they come from a company approved by the American Astronomical Society. A list of the approved companies is on your screen right now.